All right, now we get to talk about our edging. Most tiles, there is a, a side or a few sides, if not all of them, that the um, coating is not covering. So if you were to put that tile against the wall like that, you probably can't pick it up, but you'll see that it's not fully glazed around. So this bottom edge here, there is actually ceramic showing, not all glaze. So what I like to use pretty much all the time is a metal, it's a capping. Metal most of the time, sometimes you can use plastic. So I brought a few to show you. Now, you want to figure out what sizing you need. And there are a few factors to this. Most people are like, okay, well I have a 5 16 tile, so I should use a 5 16 metal edging. Generally, that's the, that is the way to do it. But in renovations, <laughs> things completely can flip around. So yeah, I would say that that would fit really nice. You can see how it sits in there well. Even with a bit of mortar, it won't be coming out too much. Now, that being said, when you have walls that stick out further than your new tile wall, that changes the look. So if you put this one up to this wall, that actually works perfect. This is almost the same as this. But now let's flip to the other side and see what fun we can have here. You'll see that this thing almost completely disappears. So the 5 16th metal edge pretty much doesn't show up. So that means that side would show up nice and this, there would be nothing. So what I would do in this case is I would jump to a at least 3 8 edging maybe even a half an inch. So there's 3 8 and you can see it does stick out a little bit. So that is a bit nicer. Um, now if we do jump to a half an inch, the downside to it is the tile will be almost buried inside of it and you won't, uh, it won't look as good. So I think 3 8 on this side and 5 16 on that side. Now this doesn't happen very often, um, but usually both walls are the same. This is one case where we, had, we have an interesting difference. So just keep that in mind when you decide on your sizing. I will show you the plastic, and there are different forms of plastic. For white tile, obviously you wanna stick with a white plastic profile. So that looks good as, as well. Again, sizing wise, but depending on what you wanna do with it too. If you want to make it disappear, then this might be a good way to go. So that's pretty much it for profiles. We'll be showing you how to actually install them later, um, but you see how nicely it caps off the tile. All right, so when it comes to the metal profiles, you, you might, when you walk into a store, say, I need some metal profiles, and they'll say, what? So you might have to say metal capping, or also there is edging. So the name um, isn't as important as what it is. So basically what you're trying to do is cover up the edge of this, and that's what those do.